what's up guys welcome to another tutorial on my channel in this video we are going to talk about five useful features in filmora that you want to use while editing video when it comes to editing video it is important to understand the software also understand all the features of the software so you can create more engaging video so hopefully this video is helpful for you okay So first up, let's talk about Proxify and Render button. If you're editing video on a low-end computer and you want to edit 4K video, 5K video and stuff like that, which is in high resolution, you want to create Proxify to help you editing video faster. If you select the Proxify option, the program will create a copy of your original footage which is in lower resolution. So you can preview the video on the timeline without laggy issue. In order to create Proxify in Filmora, it is very simple. For example, if you import a video into your software, for example, here I have some 4K video and then I can click open to import them to the media folder and okay and now you can just select the video that you want to create proxy or you can select all by press, pressing ctrl a on your keyboard and then you can right click here at the media folder and select this option create proxy file and now you will see this circle at the corner of the media file it means that the program is creating proxy file for your project and now you need to wait until the proxy creation finished and after that you can edit your video without laggy issue by the way if you don't want to wait you can right click here and select cancel proxy okay just click here to cancel the proxy and there's another solution to create proxy file automatically if you want to do that you want to go to file and select preference and select the performance tab here and scroll down here and you see this option automatically create proxies when media resolution is higher than so you want to select 4k or full hd it is up to you for example normally i will select this option full hd which is 1080p if my media is larger than 1080p i will create proxy for smoother editing okay and then you can click apply so that is about the proxy and you still have some problem with the performance of the software this time you need to use the render button for example you, i can use this video and i can put it on the timeline and keep the project setting and when you drag and drop any media to the timeline you will see the timeline will become red like this and when you play the video it is choppy and it is not smooth okay so the first option is to reduce the preview quality to do that you want to click here at the full quality option and then you want to select half quality okay and if your video is still not smooth enough you want to click this button to render the timeline when you use the render button your timeline will become green so you can preview your video better okay for example i can render this timeline and now i can play the video You see that it is smooth right useful feature number two in filmora is the auto zoom effect for your image if you want to create a slideshow or presentation with many still images stuff like that and you want to create uh, auto zoom effect in filmora it is possible and i think it is very interesting i use it all the time for my slideshow for example, I imported some photo here with my recent project and now if I, if I already set up the auto zoom effect in Filmora, all I need to do is to press Ctrl A to select all of them and then just drag and drop them onto the timeline to create a slideshow. And we will have an auto zoom effect for our slideshow. Something will look like this. Okay, so in order to set up the auto zoom effect in Filmora, it is very simple. Just go to File and then you want to select Preference again. And now you want to select the Editing tab right here. And here you can change the photo duration. For example, I can change it to 
10 seconds or 50 seconds and stuff like that. But the most important thing here is the timeline edit and the photo placement. You want to select this option, pan and zoom. Do not select crop to fit or fit. Otherwise, it will not create auto zoom effect for your image. Okay, so select pan and zoom and click apply. And being mentioned that if you have different aspect ratio, you have to adjust the crop area yourself. So you have to do it manually. For example, this is a vertical video and you see that it's cropped to just a portion of the image. And now if I want to adjust it, I want to select it on the timeline and then I can click here at the crop function. And now I have to adjust this end and start point. For example, if I want to adjust the end point to this position and also this is a start point. Okay, something like this and I want to select the aspect ratio of the project and then I can click apply. So this is the image. The next useful feature in Filmora is the AI portrait option. I think it is very interesting because normally if you want to remove the background of your video you have to set up your green screen lighting condition and stuff like that and after that you have to use the chroma key option to remove the background of your video but with the AI portrait option you can just do it in just one click in Filmora for example here I have a footage of me talking to the camera something like this and you can see that I don't have a green screen behind me Okay, so we can use the AI portrait option to remove the background of the video and replace it with another one. To do that, we can just select the video here or the timeline and then we can click this button. AI matting tools and then we can select AI portrait. Okay, or you can find it here at the video tab and AI tool. And now you can click here to enable the AI portrait option. Okay, so you see that it removed the background of my video. By the way, you can adjust the egg thickness also. Maybe you can increase it a little bit and increase the egg feather. Something like this. And then you can click OK. And now you can see that the background of the video has been removed. Okay. Nice, right? And you can replace it with another background. For example, I can go to sticker and I can select this option as a background so I will move my video up one track and then I can put a background here to use it as my background okay and we can have a video like this okay and the next useful feature in Filmora is the music stratos I think this feature is very interesting because sometimes when editing video your music file is shorter than your video so you want to match the duration of the video with your music so all you need to do is to put the music file or the timeline and now if you want to extend the duration of the music you want to click here at this audio stratos so just click here and then you want to move to the end of the music and click hold your mouse and drag it to the end of the video and now you have a longer music file okay without doing anything you don't have to copy and paste the music file on the timeline so it is very interesting right if you want to come back to normal selection tool you want to press v on your keyboard or you can just click here at uh, this button okay And the last useful feature in Filmora that I want to mention in this video is the audio ducking. This is a feature that I use all the time, especially for my talking head video. It will emphasize my voice and reduce the volume of the background music and the sound effect also. I don't have to do it manually. Okay, for example here, I have a talking head video like this and it is a music file and you can hear that it will mix with my voice. Okay. So guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you. So now, if I want to emphasize my voice, all I need to do is to double click here at the video and then I can select the audio tab and scroll down here and select the audio ducking feature. Normally, I will select 60 for my voice, but you can play around with this number to meet your requirement. Okay, and this is the final result. What's up guys, welcome to another video on my channel. 
All right, so these are five useful editing features in Filmora you should use for your next project. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any questions, just let me know at the comment section below. If you like the video, hit the like button. And if you are new here, consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more video like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.